guys. Here I am laying in bed. I don't know if you can hear Nacho, but he's snoring right now. Let's see. Oh, whoa. Again? No? Uh oh. Sometimes I've noticed Nacho doesn't take any breaths for a very, there we go. He doesn't take any breaths for a very long time. But then like 30 seconds later, I hear him take another breath. I'm just like, whoa, man, he must have like huge ass lungs because, oh. While I lay comfortable in the bed with a me nacho, I want to show you footage of the other day when Craig and I went to a vegan restaurant that actually was in Williamsburg. So come along to that. It's a Thursday, and we're walking this way. And we're eating vegan food, so our stomachs feel real good. Oh, jeez, wait. Are you excited? <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. Did you? <laughs> okay. me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The sauce is so good. You're back. Huh? Oh my god, by the way, this very, 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 very beautiful, sweet girl from Indonesia sent that to me. Isn't it so beautiful? I love it. So I have been getting DMs and messages to do a updated skincare routine. So I think that I shall do that. What else? What else should we do in this vlog? Hmm. Okay, story time. Two days ago, I worked in New Jersey and did a photo shoot for Serta. So the first time I shot for them two months ago in January, the pictures are already on the box for a specific pillow, but I really want to buy it. Because <laughs> um, I think there's like three different pictures of me all over the box. So, um, so, oh, oh, hello, hello. So I shot for them again two days ago for uh, a mattress topper, which is so comfortable. I was literally sitting in the bed and they're like, can you, can you sit up? But I was like, I am sinking, it's so comfortable. Uh, so at one point had a book for a prop. I was reading about the author on the back cover and it said how she has amazing TED Talks. Immediately, I was just like, I need to watch her TED Talks when I get home because she sounds amazing. And her name is Brene Brown. I specifically watched her talk on vulnerability, which was so good and I recommend it. Did you watch it after you watch this video? Apparently like the prop person had attended one of her lectures and if you attended the lecture, you got one of her books and then like a little piece of paper, like postcardy looking thing with the book and I, took that out and read it and I was like, I love this. You possibly already read it because I posted it on my Instagram story a couple days ago, but regardless, here it is. Stop walking through the world looking for confirmation that you don't belong. You will always find it because you've made that your mission. Stop scouring people's faces for evidence that you're not enough. You will always find it because you've made that your goal. True belonging and self-worth are not goods. We don't negotiate their value with the world. The truth about who we are lives in our hearts. Our call to courage is to protect our wild heart 
against constant evaluation, especially our own. No one belongs here more than you. So I read that and was like, oh my goodness. And I asked the prop lady, I was like, can I please take a picture of this? I absolutely love this. This is in line with all the books that I'm reading right now and what I'm trying to put in my life and read and surround myself with and everything like that. Like I said, I came home and, and watched the TED Talk and it was great and you should watch it. Oh, I had to share that with you because it really made my day the other day and I hope that makes yours too. Okay, now going on to um, materialistic girly things, <laughs> but not really at the same time because like taking care of your face is one way to show yourself that you love yourself. So here, let me show you my favorite products. Uh, hey. Oh, closet is messy. Don't look in there. Okay. Oh, also before I begin, if you've watched my previous skincare videos where I've shared my favorite products, you'll probably see a few that I've mentioned before because I definitely have some staples. But um, some of these are new that um, I have been trying out and really liking, so I wanted to share those with you too. When I cleanse, I use a cleansing oil, which I really, really love. I've been using this one recently, the Cosmetics Purity Solution. I use this one typically at night when I have like a full face of makeup that I want to get off, but then after I do like my nighttime regimen. Oh, why did you move there? Now they can't see you. You want to come back up here? You want to come back up here? Do you want to come back? Do you want to come back up here? Oh, that's even better. No, is that better? Can you see him? Nope, can't see him. Okay, well, anyways. What was I saying? And then when I wake up in the morning, I just have my nighttime moisturizer and whatever on. So I'll use this in the morning as my cleanser. That is a powder. It says exfoliating powder, but it's definitely not an exfoliating powder. I mean, there's little like exfoliants inside, but it's by no means really exfoliating exfoliating it's like the most gentle thing ever so that's why I use it every morning to just like basically get my nighttime stuff off and then put on my daytime serums and moisturizer and then you know for the day but um yeah this is my morning this is my night think think so after I cleanse I always use a toner this is the one that I just started using a couple days ago I really like it it's really gentle I love anything with rose in it after that I do a serum I'm a huge serum person I switch between using Ulla Henriksen's Truth Serum and Caudalie's Vino Perfect. This is the sample size. I love this. And I just ran out of it. Okay, that's a lot. I ran out of it like two months ago. <laughs> I wanna buy it so bad because it's my one of my favorites and it is actually a staple, but it's so expensive. I just, it's just so hard to justify at the same time because it's like, well, I have another serum that I can use. But um, as you can see, this is literally, I think I have like one or two days left of this. <laughs> So now I'm just like angry. When I do buy them, I try to buy them maybe around Christmas because Sephora always has like a 15% off or 20% off coupon. There's no coupons right now and I've been, just been trying to hold off. But anyways, these two are my favorite serums. Moving on to moisturizers. This is a staple. I've showed this many, many times before. Kiehl's. It's a balm, so it's very hydrating. And because I have primarily dry skin, I go for things that are like really rich, hydrating and moisturizing. This is the other one. I switched between that Kiehl's and this. It's called Humidify. And um, I'll just put a little on my skin. You can see like it's real nice and thick and me likes it a lot. And it smells so good. Going to nighttime. It's funny. I'm just like now noticing that I clearly favor a, just a few brands because this is Kiehl's and this is Ulla Henriksen. But I switch off between these. This is the Midnight Recovery Concentrate. This is actually the 1.7 fluid ounce one. I got the bigger size last time I bought this because I just love it so much. And this is the Invigorating Night Transformation Gel by Ulla Henriksen. And they're both very good. So yeah, I try to not get my skin so used to a specific product. I try to... If I have an extra product at home, I try to switch between, and these two just happen to be my favorites. My nighttime moisturizer is actually Elizabeth Arden Millennium that I found at TJ Maxx, and it looked really thick, so I bought it, and then I finally was like, hmm, maybe I should like look this up, and it's for mature skin. <laughs> but hey, it's so hydrating, and you guys asked what I've been using recently, and this is just so happened to be what I'm using recently. <laughs> but here's, here's this, very moisturizing, but um, yeah, it smells like, it smells like grandma. <laughs> 
<laughs> it makes sense, it's trying to go towards its target audience. Also, to add to this whole mix, my favorite exfoliator that I use about three times a week is Ula Henriksen's Walnut Scrub. And I'm a little bit annoyed because this is my favorite exfoliator and it smells so good and it works so well and Craig has been stealing it recently and I'm just like, I love you but I don't want you to use it because I love it and I want it for myself. But, um, squeeze a little bit out, whoa, see, great. Great stuff, whoa. It's just so exfoliating and it smells so good. Um, I use it in the shower. I use this after I put on my makeup every single day and just throughout the day, literally a hundred times. I think that's pretty much it. Oh my goodness, I forgot. I bought this two years ago when <laughs> I was in Milan. I bought it specifically when I was overseas because it was a little bit cheaper and then I also didn't have to pay tax. I've been using it so, so sparingly. Like I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna waste it, but ah, dang it. Probably like that much. <laughs> no, that's a lie. Probably like twice as much as that, which is still nothing. Basically just enough to get the product on my skin. I love it and it's my favorite and it's so expensive. I think it's like 80 euros or something for eye cream. But um, this, I swear by this eye cream, I love it so much. It's my favorite eye cream in the whole entire world. And then also, this is not part of skincare. This is the foundation that I've been using recently that actually just came out. I typically prefer really, really light coverage foundation. And this is like a skin tint with sunscreen. It's really, really, really light and amazing. And I think that that's pretty much it. I mentioned before in previous vlogs about buying skincare. If you're looking for like a new toner or moisturizer or whatever, definitely go and check out TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I like highly recommend that because you can find it so much cheaper. I found things at TJ Maxx for like $15 that are still in Sephora for like $60, $70. So be good with your money. You work so hard for your money, so you might as well be wise with it. I hope that you enjoyed that and I hope that you have an amazing week. Go forth and let the beautiful person that you are on the inside shine outwards and share it with those around you. I love you, I love you, and I will see you next week. Oh, Ananda, why'd you go there? Oh, I love you.